And then we have Deborah Giusti, who is the founder of the Harmony Festival, which has been going for 33 years now in Santa Rosa, California. Hi, Deborah. Hi, so great to be here. First time I've been here at LIV, and I love it. Harmony Festival takes place in Santa Rosa, California. 35,000 people celebrate music, arts, consciousness, ecology, and we have a techno-tribal community dance in the evening, and it's really wonderful, and I'm really happy to be here. Um, and then, Ang oh, yeah, please, give it up for Deborah. And then anchoring our panel, we have Megan Young, who is the artist manager for the Boom Festival in Portugal. Y'all know Boom? And for Lightning in a Bottle, so welcome, Megan. Thank you. Usually I'm on the other side of this. I take care of all the artists, and I make sure that they get to where they need to go. This is awkward for me, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> You'll all be awesome. So, uh, my name is G.K. Leung, and I'm here from Vancouver, B.C., and I'll be your moderator today. Um, and it's my pleasure to um, facilitate this panel. Um, I've been involved with the culture for the past 15 years, and it's been a blessing to uh, watch it grow up and to be a part of it. And I've been presenting on Transformational Festivals since 2009 uh, to contribute towards a holistic understanding and appreciation and mindfulness of the model that's evolved here. So I'm really excited to be engaged in this conversation um, with these fine folks uh, who are holding down so much. So I'm gonna just take a minute and um, just frame our conversation here. So there's an, an undeniable blossoming of a specific type of transformational festival. And I started uh, creating a map and tracking this a couple years ago, and I had 48 festivals on that initial map. And now we're up to 70 festivals that fit this transformational model that has blossomed, I mean, on the West Coast, but beyond. And so um, I just want to do a little check in with the crowd. How many people here have had a transformational experience at a festival or um, some kind of pivotal moment or experience within the container of the festival? All right, so I think we're pretty pretty close to 100%. So within this group, you know, there's so many juicy stories of transformation. So I think it's a real privilege um, to have folks who are here on the production side, who hold down so much um, in creating the containers that allow us to have those experience. So let's give it up just for all our visionaries and just for all their teams and all the co-creators that make this all possible. All right, so here's my first question for y'all. And um, I hope it's an easy one and maybe so, something by way of introduction. So given all the challenges faced as an event producer, why do you do it? What what makes you keep going? Before I started filming. And I'll, I'll say that um, it's an incredible amount of work to put together an event like this. It takes, you know, it, we work on it for more than a year and it takes at least six months of a real long planning to, to pull it off, but in the end, we get these amazing responses from so many people, and it's always like, thank you so much. This event has really changed my life. It's transformed me, it, you know, and it, it shows people that there is a, a better way to live, that you can follow your dreams, and you can really live a creative lifestyle, and it, it's those responses every time that make it worth it, no matter how much we kill ourselves trying to pull it off or put the best show on. It really comes down to the responses we get. Yeah, and to add to what Jesse said, I mean, going up to the event, we spend hours and hours of organizing and planning and rechecking and communicating with people, and we never know exactly how it's going to turn out until we get here. And for me, I take care of all, all of the artists. I'm a host for people coming from all over the world. You know, I have artists coming from Europe. I have artists coming from all different parts of the United States, really everywhere. And they come here, they come to us, and they have their experiences. And to see our work reflected in their experience is my reward. I, I hear a lot of stories from people about how the direction of their life shifts after the festival and I see it from when they come in to when they leave 
they're different. You know, I'm the one that welcomes them, and I'm the one that sends them on their way. And they're different people when they leave. I agree. It's a really crazy business. It's amazing. So much work goes into a few days of just bliss. Um, but somehow I feel like I had a spiritual contract to come here and do it because it's really a passion from my core. I started the Harmony Festival at 22, and it was like mother bear energy. I did it for 25 years, and then I brought on partners, but I could not let that festival die. So it was my mothering, nurturing energy that came through and kept it alive and kept it going, and it's my passion. And it's such an honor to do and live and work your passion. That's one of the most blessed things that you can find in your life is to do your passion. And like all of them say, to witness the transformation, it's, it's like having a baby. You go through these incredible labor pains and you go, oh, I never want to do this again. And then this baby of this beautiful festival comes out and you go, oh, I want another one. You know, it's like that. It's just, it's amazing when it happens. You forget all about the pain and it's just, it's such an honor to be able to uh, share this and provide this for people. Yeah, I, I agree, absolutely. I, I was speaking about this earlier, but just a week ago, I was feeling like, I can't wait till this is over. I can't wait. Like The work was just so intense and the spreadsheets and trying to keep it, everything organized and the pressure of making sure that you checked and double checked that you'd taken care of every single little detail was just, it had just gotten too much and I was like, ah, I just want it to be over, I just want it to be over. And then you guys arrived. <laughs> and as soon as you arrived on Thursday night, it just changed everything. Like you, you came with this energy and, and I remembered, as soon as I saw your faces and saw you here on this floor, I was like, okay, this is what it's all about. And it's worth it. All right, thank you all for your wonderful sharing. So let me ask this next question. What do you, what do you feel is most significant that's happening in this emergent festival culture? What do you see that's happening in the culture yeah, as a movement, as a whole? Well, I think that festivals like this, transformational festivals, what I see ha taking place is we're creating space for interactions to happen, space that doesn't exist outside of here. Because of our cities, everything is engineered to keep us in one way, doing our own things, keeping us separate. And the whole infrastructure of the festival is in place to like create meeting places, to create little spaces where people can come together, where people can remember their connection, can make new connections. This is so powerful. We don't have this elsewhere. In these festivals, this is the only place that I see intentional space being created for people to really connect. Um, primarily and first of all, it's consciousness raising on whatever level you come to the festival for. For some people, it may be their first window into this world and it's, woohoo, my tribe. I found my tribe. I can be myself. And then it's creating the bonds with your soul tribe here. That is, you know, the, one of the most incredible things is to create bonds and then create lives with the people you meet here and then bond together and create new worlds together. So extremely transformational from the microcosm of the internal to what we can all create together by coming together in this way. Yeah, I definitely agree with both of you guys. I mean, what we try and do here is we're trying to create an environment where people can be together and have intimate experiences with each other and take those experiences home with them and, and share those with more of their friends and really try and just send it out into the world. And I really, I, I see it happening, you know, there's every year, we're getting thousands of new people every year and they're getting younger and younger. And they're going home and they're telling their friends. You're just getting older. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's definitely happening at the same time. But they're going home and they're telling their friends, like, you have to come experience this. It's the most amazing thing ever. And every year, more and more of them are coming in and more people are getting transformed. And it's really, it's about the intimate connections that foster community 
and it's showing people that we can love each other and we can care about each other and everything that society is telling us out there in the world it's not it's not the way that things can be or should be and I think that people are really learning that here at these festivals um, I love what everyone has said I agree with all of it for sure that's exactly what's going on and I think that um, it's creating moments the, the concept that if you can experience something once, then you know it's possible. So if you come into an environment like this and share an experience like this with other beings, then from then on you know it's possible. So you might be able to go back to your life, but you can't really live in that life anymore. You, you, you're going to start making strives and making moves to create more loving and more intentional environment around yourself because you can't help it because you know it's possible. So it's, it seems like we're all in agreement that these festivals are transformational. So what is it that makes them so, or and or, what keeps them from being more so? <laughs> well, I think what keeps them from being more transformational is really the integration. Because you come here and you have such a potent experience in such a short amount of time. And dreams, right? You don't leave the same. You can't. You know it's possible. This other world. But how do you integrate what you learn here um, with your regular life? And for myself, I've struggled with that. You know, I work on these beautiful transformational festivals, and yet my day-to-day -day reality of producing is involves a lot of spreadsheets, a lot of sitting at a computer, a lot of really monotonous kind of things. So how do I? support myself physically, emotionally, mentally? How do I carry what I'm producing? How do I remember that seed when I'm stuck in, in Excel? You know, So I'm learning for myself to create healthier. I'm learning from all of you how to better manage my stress and how to integrate what I learned here into the work that I'm actually doing. So I think really, how do you take what you learn here and bring it out into the world and how do you have it inspire your work and what you're doing in your everyday life? 